hi everybody. Welcome to April. It's the beginning of April, so I thought perfect time to share some notebooks and journals and talk about some other journal and coaching related news. So the first notebook that I want to share with you is something that I talked about recently on a podcast called Gums and Gossip. So Gums and Gossip is such a fun podcast. It's a dental hygienist who started a podcast because she was always talking with her patients about her dating life. And since I have kind of a dating themed journal, she had me on her podcast to talk about pickup lines. So this journal is called Pick Yourself Up. It's a guided notebook to love yourself. And it's pretty cheeky and funny because Every set of pages has on one side a cheesy pickup line, like, can I follow you home? Because my parents always said to follow your dreams, right? So that's kind of funny and cheesy. And then on the other side, it has a more traditional journal prompt. So it's related to the pickup line. So this one says, what dreams have you followed and which dreams can you follow? So this is a prompted notebook, but you saw as I was flipping through, it's got all the blank lined pages. And I know someone who has one of my notebooks who doesn't use the prompts all the time. So she just uses wide out to just blank out the prompts at the top and just uses it as a regular blank lined notebook. This gives you the option to do either or both. So get yourself this fun pickup lines journal if you are interested in improving your self-love skills. And you can listen to Hope and I discuss this journal in the Gums and Gossip podcast. Okay, so that's the first journal I wanted to share with you today. The second journal that I wanted to talk to you about is for business owners who need to keep track of their contacts and people in their sphere of influence. So it is called How to Track Everyone, and it is a sphere of influence tracker. But as I was looking at it and thinking about sharing it with you today, I realized it really can be for keeping track of our friends and family members too. So if you know a hundred people in your life, who you don't want to lose track with, who you want to kind of keep in their sphere, right? In, in their area. So you would create a page for each person. And this is great if you continuously meet new people too, right? You get to track everyone you meet. And each page just has some basic information. You write down the name, their phone number, their email, if you have it, their mailing address, if you have it, birthday or other important dates, and what you have in common, their hobbies or things you want to remember about them, a quick favor you can do for this other person. And then it has some little boxes at the bottom for you to mark down when was the last time you checked in with them? So if you're thinking, oh, I wanna stay in touch with people, how can I do this on a regular basis? You could just scroll past, scroll, flip through the bottom pages and see who you haven't checked in with lately. And because their phone and email and address, you could maybe send them a card or give them a text or send them a quick email or reach out to them on social media. So that is how to track everyone. And then the third book that I want to share to do with you today is so fun, something that I have been using a lot lately, because luckily I've had the opportunity in the last two months or so to have a lot of canine guests at my house. I've been dog sitting. So I have this dog log. It's a dog sitting book, and it gives me the chance to write down all the details that the dog mom or dad tells me about their animal. So the pet's name, what they go by, any meals or meds or treats or snacks, favorite toys, any sleeping spots or hiding places I should be aware of, um, and other little details that we might want to know up front. And then for every day, I get to go in and write morning, noon, and night, what was the animal's mood, what kind of food and water intake did they have, what kind of activity outside did they have, and then there's a space at the bottom for other notes. And this has just been so great for me to keep track of the things that I'm sure that the dog's parents will want to know, you know, or things that I want to keep track of because this dog isn't usually with me. I don't know if this behavior is normal or something to watch out for. So it's just a good way to kind of track every, and the way I would use it is I wouldn't make the notes exactly as everything happened, but every morning I would think back, okay, the last 24 hours, what did they do? What did they eat? Did we take a walk? What were they doing when we were outside? Did they do anything cute or funny? Because of course, dog parents want to know all this kind of thing. So those are 
three fun notebooks that might help you in your life and or work. And before we go today, I also want to tell you about some other fun announcements. So one thing that I'm so excited about are postcards in the mail. So I have designed a series of postcards that have journal prompts and affirmations and motivational or inspirational quotes. And you can receive these once a week in the mail. My earring just fell off. Hey. <laughs> so anyhow, you can receive these to your US mail address. It's a part of a subscription, $5.99 a month, and you get a new postcard each week. And it has journal prompts on it, or it has like a motivational or affirmations that you can repeat to yourself, or um, more journal prompts, or a motivational or inspirational saying. And you can put these around your house or workspace. You can share it with someone. You can give it to a friend. You can do whatever you want with these. Just tuck them inside of your journal. Um, and this month, it might look a little familiar. The theme of this month goes along with this month's journal. That's pretty fun, huh? So I will send you the link if you're receiving this video in an email or if you're watching it online. I'll have the links in the comments below in case you want to sign up to receive a weekly postcard in the physical mail from me. Also, as I've told you before, if you do a review on Amazon for one of my notebooks, if you're the first approved five-star review and you let me know, you can either have a month of these postcards sent to you on me. I'll pay your subscription for your first month, or you can get another journal or notebook of your choice. I'll send that to you. And then I wanted to let you know we have so many ways to connect in April. We have Pod Club coming up this Thursday um, at 5 p.m. Arizona time. We have a Manager Mind workshop called Thoughts Are Optional, which you can join. Uh, and I'm doing a business brainstorming and tech tips. We have a journaling and friendship meetup where we all come together and journal for 20 minutes. And then we spend the rest of the time getting to know each other and chatting. And then the final thing that I want to say before I let you go today is I'm so proud to announce that this quarter I am able to offer a coaching scholarship. So if you or someone you know would love to have some coaching, but it just hasn't been available in the budget or in the finances, I'm giving a scholarship for three months of bi-monthly coaching. So we meet either the first and third week or the second and fourth week. We meet for 45 minutes. You get coached on whatever co topic you need and we go for three months that way. So that's how I do my coaching is on a month to month basis with the monthly subscription. There's also an option for one-off coaching, but if you know someone who would benefit so much from coaching and just hasn't been able to make it work, have them apply for the scholarship. It's on my website. You can go to bexby.org slash coaching and see the button to apply. There's just a series of some self-reflective questions, and then there's an information call that we have to decide if this is the scholarship awardee or if we're a fit to work together. So check that out. Otherwise, Thank you so much for watching this video today. I hope you enjoyed seeing the postcards. Maybe you'll see them in your mailbox soon and the notebooks and journals. Maybe you'll get some of those and I will talk with you later. Bye-bye.